students by today we are going to discuss few problems from the second lesson that is your number system so already theory part is completed so by now again we are going to have some problems for each and every model i will be giving one example problem for you people yes we can proceed with the topics okay ma'am so how many types of number system are there for you yes totally you are having four types what are they the first one it is your decimal the first one it is your decimal the second one it is your binary and the third one it is your third one it is your octal and the fourth one it is your hexadecimal hexadecimal okay va yes next what is the base for the binary yes the base is 2 for you for binary and what are the numbers you will be having zeros to 1 0 and 1 for decimal what is the base yes 10 is the base and the numbers ranges from 0 to 9 for octal the base is 8 and the numbers ranges from 0 to 7 and for hexadecimal the base is 16 for you people and the numbers ranges from 0 to 9 and the next it ranges from 8 to f For A, you people know ten. For B, it is eleven. C, it is twelve. And for D, it is thirteen. And E is fourteen. And the F is fifteen for you. So like that, you will be having your the ranges of numbers and the bases. Yes, first we can see the first model that is convert decimal to binary. First we are going to go on with the model that is decimal to binary. Yes, we can have the first problem. So consider the problem. It is two five five to the base ten. How you people will identify this is your decimal number? Yes, by seeing the base. By seeing the base, you people have to identify what number it is. So here the base is ten for you. So the given number is decimal. So the given number is decimal for you. Okay, wow. Yes, for for decimal to binary, what you people will be doing? Yes, you will be performing repeated division by two. You will be performing repeated division by two. Yes, see here. Yes, two five five divided by two. So two one sir, two four sir, remainder one. So it is fourteen. Yes, one. Okay, one. Then two, two six sir, two three sir, remainder one. Then two three sir. Two ones are reminder one. Two ones are yes. Two fives are ten. Re again reminder one. Two sevens are fourteen. Reminder one. Two threes are six. Again reminder one. And two ones are two. Again you people will be having reminder one. How you people have to write down? Yes, from bottom to top. So while you people are writing, you have to take it out. And write the answers separately. So totally, how many ones you people are having? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you are having eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And to the base, it is two. So don't forget, you must always specify the base. Base is more important. Okay, ma. So by seeing the base only, you people can identify what number it is. So clear with this way? Yes. Clear with the first two model. Yes. Next, we can see the next two model. It is your decimal to octal. Next, it is your decimal to octal. The same number. Two. two sorry. Two five five. To the base ten, you are going to convert into base eight. How you people have to do? Yes, you have to go on with repeated division by eight. Yes, eight how many times? Three, one, and you people will be having the remainder seven. Again, next eight. Yes, three. You people having the remainder seven. How you people have to write down? Yes, full. To the base ten, here you will be having. Three seven seven eight 
from bottom to top you people have to write down this is your decimal to octal and the next model you people are having it is your decimal to hexa again the same number it is decimal to hexa decimal okay va wow. the same problem 255 to the base 10 is equal to how much you people are going to get so here what do you people have to do you have to repeat it divide it by 16 you have to divide it by 16 here you will be having 15 15 how you people have to write the answer from bottom to top you have to write down here how you people will be writing the answer yes like this you will be writing to the base 16 whether this way is correct no this is wrong you should not write like this how then how you people have to write down yeah. yes for 15 you are having f so it is f f to the base 16 so clear with this one so by now we have discussed three models that is decimal to binary decimal to octal and the next one it is your decimal to hexa next we are going to discuss binary to decimal binary means it is just a combination of zeros and ones yes first problem we can have 101101 to the base 2 yes answer must be to the base 10 how you people will be solving this one yes 2 to the power like that you have to proceed so first write the number like this with equal distance and neatly you people write this okay va wow. next we can proceed that is 1 into 2 to the power of 0 next one 0 into 2 to the power of 1 1 into 2 to the power of 2 1 into 2 to the power of 3 give you enough space and write so sorry it is 0 then only it will be easy to see need to see and easy for your calculation also okay va wow. yes what is the first one answer yes it is 1 next one 0 2 to the power of 2 is 4 4 into 1 it is 4 the next one answer is 8 next one 0 and the next one it is your 32 so the answer is 45 the answer is 45 so you people have to take it down and you people have to write it Okay, well, so to this side you must have the problem. So don't forget to mention the base. If the base is not there, full problem is wrong for you. So don't forget. Okay, well, yes. Next we can. So this is the model that is your binary to decimal. So you have to perform two to the power multiplication, two to the power of zero, till how many range of numbers you are having. You have to put two to the power. So clear with this one? Yes. Next we can go on with the next one. it is your binary to octal it is your binary to octal we can have the same number itself that is 101101 to the base to octal means it is 8 for you so for here what do you people have to do yes take and write that number so always write it neatly okay va then what do you people have to do you have to split it by 3 and you in the top you people have to put the number 4 2 1 otherwise 1 2 4 so add this one you will be having 7 okay va wow. so the octal numbers ranges from 0 to 7 for you yes now you people have to add what is given on the top for you so add just for the number 1 alone what to the 1 you people are having 1 to the 1 here you people are having 4 4 plus 1 it is 5 for you So here also four plus one it is five for you. Okay, ma. So the answer is fifty-five. Four plus one it is five. So the answer is fifty-five to the base eight. So do it. So clear. Like this, you have to go on with binary to octal. You have to go on with binary to octal. Yes. Next, we can have the next two problem. What it is for you? The same thing. That is binary to hexadecimal. Binary to hexadecimal. Binary to hexa. What you people have to do? The same procedure. But here you people have to split it by four. 
yes 4 okay ma the top what do you people have to write yes 8 4 2 1 that is 8, 4, 2, 1. Similar is the case for what else number you people are having 1, value 1. To the top you people have to add. So 1 to the top you are having 1. For 1 it is 4. Here it is 8. What it is? 8 plus 4 plus 1. What it is for you? Yes, it is 13 for you. Here it is 2 for you. As a whole, for 13 what do you people have to write? As a 13 you should not write. So it is D for you. So the answer is 2d to the base 16 so the answer is 2d to the base 16 so clear with the second model that is your first we have finished decimal to everything decimal to binary decimal to octal decimal to hexa next we are going on with binary to octal binary to decimal binary to octal and the next one it is your binary to hexa clear with these models Next, we are going to have the next model that is your octal to decimal. For that, that number is 5361 to the base 8. So, what here, what you people have to do? Yes, here you have to go on with the 8 to the power. Yes, write down 5361. Yes, 1 into 8 to the power of 0. 6 into 8 to the power of 1. 3 into 8 to the power of 2. 5 into 8 to the power of 3. What is the answer here? Yes, it is 1 for you. The next one it is 48. And the next one you people will be having 192. And the next one you will be having as 2560. As a whole you people add it. You will be having the answer as 2801. So take it and write it down. To the base it is equal to 2801 to the base 10 okay wow. and the next model it is your octal to binary it is your octal to binary also what's the number here for you by now yes 4 3 6 7 to the base 8 yes we will write down like this for 4 what is the binary equivalent to simple to say you can have the top 4 2 1 so you must get the value 4. What do you have to do? Yes, put 1 here and remaining or 0. Then 3 you need. So 1, 1, it is 0. 6 you need. 4, 5, 6. Okay, wow. 1, 1, 0. 7 you need. What do you people have to do? You have to go on with 7. Yes, as a whole. Okay, wow. So this is the way. Then how you people have to write down? Yes, as it is 4. First you people write 4. 3, write the 3. 6 write the 6 7 write down the 7 so I am going to have the answers here so instead mm, here I am going to write the answer okay wow. 4 3 6 7 to the base 8 equal to for 4 what is the number 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay wow s yes, to the base 2 so this is the way how you people have to proceed with octal to binary yes next we can have the next model it is your hexadecimal first it is your hexadecimal to decimal it is your hexa to decimal okay wow. so what is the first problem a 4 2 to the base 16 what do people have to do similar is the case to the power 2 into 16 to the power of 0 4 into 16 to the power of 1 a is what for you 10 10 into 16 to the power of 2 what is the answer 2 yes 16 4 is it is 64 and next it is 2560 what is the answer for you yes this is your answer write down a42 to the base 16 it is equal to 2626 to the base 10 for you okay well, yes next you people can have the next one it is your hexadecimal to binary here 
hexa to binary so the number you people can have it is 3f 6a to the base 16 what do you people have to do right here 3 f 6 a 3 means already in the top you people write down 8 4 2 1 4 3 yes 2 plus 1 it is 3 1 1 0 0 so what is f for you yes it is 15 by adding all so all ones what is 6 for you yes 4 plus 2 it is 6 yes what is a a is nothing but it is your 10 10 means yes 8 plus 2 so 1 0 1 0 so how you will have to write down the answer yes here you people can have for 3 what is the answer 0 0 1 1 f 1 1 1 4 1 6 0 1 1 0 the next for a 1 0 1 0 to the base 2 yes 3 f 6 a to the base 16 it is is equal to yes like that you people will be having so in front you are having two zeros no yes you people can omit that so or you people can have it it's of no problem for you so clear with this model yes next we are going to have the sum of powers of two method okay wow. yes for that you people can have the example problem yes it is your 77 77 to the base 10 for that what do you people have to do first you have to write all the two to the power yes 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 yes 2 to the power of 0 is 1 for you 2 to the power of 2 is 1 is 2 yes next it is 4 3 it is nothing but it is your 8 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 5 what is 2 to the power of 4 for you yes 16 next one it's 32 2 to the power of 6 is what for you people yes it is 64 next it is your 2 to the power of 7 it will be more than that of the given problem so given problem is 77 so to the power of 6 uh, to the power of 2 why you people are writing you people must get the value that is less than that of the given problem so here it is 64 put 1 here okay ma? put 1 here next you people have to proceed that is your 77 that is your given problem sum minus here what you people are having it is your 64 so it is equal to 13 it is equal to 13 for you so now we have to proceed with the tabla column so in the tabla column first you will be having the condition next you will be having the value and next you will be having the set so first what is the condition for you 32 yes already we have given the value for this number it is 1 okay ma? so next we are going to consider with the next number that is 32 whether it is greater than 13 whether it is true or false yes true true means what is the value you people have to put you have to put 0 you have to put 0 so true means 0 false means 1 okay ma? true means 0 and false means 1 so 32 after considering this you are having what number here yes 16 16 is greater than 13 yes it is true so here you will be having 0 and next you have to proceed with the next number it is 8 8 to the power of 13 what it is whether true or false it is false so you have to put 1 here next step what do you have to do you have to subtract here we have finished one subtraction no? like that you have to so here it is 13 minus 8 what it is for you people yes it is 5 again proceed with the comparison here you are having 4 4 greater than 5 whether it is true or false false so the value is 1 for you again you have to go on with the subtraction 5 minus 4 it is 1 for you so here you have considered 4 next you people are having the number 2 so 2 greater than 1 whether true or false true true means the value is 0 for you next you are going to have the next one next number here is 1 1 greater than 1 so the num value is false so it is 1 for you so further you are having nothing to be compared further you are having nothing to be compared so this is the way how you people have to proceed with the sum of powers method so we have to write down the answer how you people have to write down yes as usual write down the problem 10 okay wow. here you are having the value 1 already for 64 the value is 1 here put 1 here next you will write down from top to bottom here for 32 what is the answer here you are getting 0 0 for 16 what it is for you yes 0 
for 8 it is 1 for 4 after calculating here you are having the set to be 4 2 yes 0 for 1 you are having 1 so this is the way how you people have to write down the answer okay ba? so don't blink here we are having 0 0 but she has written left from 1 here you people are having the 1 first you must write this number then only you have to proceed with the each and every number okay ba? so why you people are subtracting here yes here after that checking here he ha here you have got the value to be false false means again you have to perform the subtraction until you will be getting the true state if you are getting the true state no need to perform the subtraction but if it is a false state means you people have to do the subtraction so clear with the sum of powers method so this is your simple example so for this one you people have to draw the tabla column okay wow. Yes, this is the way how you people have to proceed with the sum of powers of 2 method. So, clear with this one. So, in the question, how it will be asked for you people? Yes, convert the given number that is 77 to the base 10 to, to binary. Here you have converted as binary only to binary using sum of powers method. If the question is like that only, then you have to go on with the sum of powers method. Based upon the question, you people have to proceed for this one. Uh, but convert 77 to the base 10 to sum of to binary using sum of powers method then only you have to do this problem like this so clear with this one yes next we are going to see convert this binary number to decimal number okay wow. yes, to the base 10 so here it is a decimal part to that side also you are having one value and to this side also you are having a value okay why it is a decimal problem decimal binary number how you people are going to solve it yes we can proceed with that one so first you people go on with the so here you'll be having four ones so go on with the numbers that is after the decimal point you have to yes write down one 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 so these numbers are after the decimal point what do people have to do yes as usual in that in that first model we have completed no like that only so it is one to the power of one into two to the power of minus four it is next to the decimal point no so you have to write it as minus how it is four four for you so next to the decimal it is one two three four so only here you have given us four okay ma'am Next, 1 into 2 to the power of minus 3. 1 into 2 to the power of minus 4. 1 into 2 to the power of minus 5. So, what's the answer you people will be getting? Yes, 0 0.0625. And the next one it is your 0 0.125. And the next one it is your 0 0.25. Next one it is your 0 0.5. What's the answer you people will be getting? 0 0.9365. So, this is the case how you people have to proceed with the and, uh, binary numbers that is next to the decimal point. Okay, wow. Next, we can do on the next side that is your 110. 110, the same procedure that is 1 into 2 to the power of, sorry, it is not 1, it is 0. 0 to the power of 0. 1 into 2 to the power of 1, 1 into 2 to the power of 2. What's the answer? Yes, it is 0 into 1, 0. Here it's here, next it is 2, next it is 4. So, total it is 6 for you. Yes, you people take it off and write it down. 0. 0.1111 to the base 2, it is. Yes, first you people have to write the value for this one, no? So, 6.9365 to the base 10 clear with this one like this only this problem to be to be solved clear clear with this way so next to the decimal point you people have to start the numbering from here one two three four and this is since it is next to the decimal point it must be to the power of minus so here it is to, it's, it is as usual so it is to the power of power of a positive number you people have to proceed so clear with this method yes next with method we can see the next method that is your decimal number so it is going to have a fractional part how you people have to proceed we can see 
yes first problem you people can have simple problem 10.25 to the base 10 you will have converted to the binary how you people have to go on yes see the problem first you consider the part that is next to the decimal digit 0 0.25 into 2 yes repeated multiplication by 2 so it is 0 0.50 so you people have to write the value that is next that is before that of the decimal point so here it is 0 again you people come here 5.0 sorry 5 yes correct point 0.50 into 2 it is 1.00 so here it is 1 for you since here you got the value was 1 so instead to tell since you here you got the value to be 0 0 again if you are going to multiply 0 0 into 2 what you will be getting you will be getting zeros only so when you people are getting 0 0 here you people stop it here you people stop it here so the answer here you will be getting is you have to consider this part only that we have written here no that only you people have to consider for 0.25 just to consider this alone 0 1 okay wow, to the base 2 next we have to go on with the next part that is your 10 yes what's the answer 2 5 to 0 2 2 4 reminder it is your 1 so 2 ones are 1 0 so as people have to write it from the bottom to the top how it is 1 0 1 0 to the base 2 yes as a whole we will write down the answer base 10 it is, is equal to for 10 what's the answer 1010 dot 0 0.01 to the base 2 so clear with the way like this only you people have to proceed with a converting a fractional decimal to a binary this is the way how you people have to convert the fractional fractional decimal to binary so clear with the topics what else we have discussed by today yes remaining topic we can discuss in the next class yes thank you students